In this video, we will learn about palindrome. Palindrome is a word, sentence or a sequence that reads the same backwards and forward. That is, taking an example of a palindrome word, the word race car is a palindrome because if we read it backwards, that is from right to left direction, it again forms the word race car. Similarly, the sentence no word, no bond, row on is a palindrome sentence because if we read it backwards, ignoring the spaces and the comma, it again forms the same sentence that is no word, no bond, row on. Now let's see how we will check if a word is a palindrome or not. Let's take the word race car as example. Now we have seen that a palindrome word reads same backwards and forward, which means that if we start comparing alphabets from the starting and from the end, they would turn out to be the same, which means we have R at both the ends, followed by A, then C, and E in the middle. And we can use this property to check if a word is palindrome or not. For this, we take two variables I and J, and we point i to the starting index of the string and we point j to the end of the string that is i contains the index of r and j has the index of r at the end and now we will check the character at index i and index j and if they are not same we can simply say that the word is not palindrome and we can return false but while checking the values of individual characters using i and j we have to take care of the case of capital and small letters because in C++ capital and small letters are treated as different. Thus we have to take care of uppercase and lowercase. And if both the characters are same, we will increment i by one position and we will decrement j by one position. That is i will move to a and j will also move to a and again as the value at index i and index j are equal, we again increment i and we again decrement j. Now again both the values are equal to c, thus we again increment i and we again decrement j. So now we can generalize that in this case if the first three characters from left to right are equal to the first three characters from right to left, we can see that this word is a palindrome because the character in the middle, which is E, is common for both left and right direction. Thus, we have to check while I is less than J to determine if a word is palindrome or not. So we will loop until I is less than J and we will check our condition for palindrome for every character, whether they are equal or not. If they are not equal, we will return false. Otherwise, we will keep on incrementing i and decrementing j until our i is less than j and if for all the cases the value is true at the end of the loop, we can return true. Now let's implement this using C++. We start our palindrome function which takes as an argument a string s and returns a boolean value which is either true or false and we have to check whether string s is palindrome or not. So firstly, we declare our two variables i and j and we make i equal to zero, that is the first index in the string and we make j equal to the length of the string minus one, which is the last character in the string. And then we start our while loop for i less than j and now we use the to upper function to convert every character to upper case and then we check whether both the characters are equal or not. If they are not equal, we'll simply return false. And if they are equal, we increment i and decrement j to move on to the next set of characters. And if for all values of i and j, all the corresponding characters are equal, we return true, saying that the word is a palindrome. Now let's see how we will check if a sentence is a palindrome sentence. Suppose this is the sentence given to us and this is a palindrome sentence as we have seen before and we will use the same approach to check if this sentence is palindrome. That is we will start comparing 
characters from starting and from the end of the sentence but we will skip the spaces commas and other special characters and we will only consider alphabets and numbers so let's modify our palindrome function and we will use the is all num function to check for numbers and alphabets this function returns true that is 1 if the character is a number or an alphabet and returns 0 if it's not so what we will do is while i is less than g and is all num si is equal to equal to 0 that is we do not cross the jth element while skipping the spaces and comma for that purpose we take the condition i is less than j and if the character at that position is not a number or an alphabet we simply increment i until we reach a character which is a number or an alphabet similarly for j while i is less than j and is all num sj equal to 0 that is while the character at jth position is not a number or an alphabet we will simply decrement j until it reaches a character which is a number or an alphabet and then we will simply carry on to check if the characters at i and j position are same or not if they are not we return false and if they are the same we increment i and decrement j and continue with our function like we did before and at the end of the loop we return true if our sentence is palindrome that was all for this video thank you for watching